Lauren Lowry, let me just first tell you, not many changes. Six months ago, we were here for the halfway mark. And if you look behind me here at the old O'Reilly Auto Parts, you'll see very little has changed from that moment. One year ago today, this place was decimated along with multiple buildings all around. In fact, I'll give you a quick tour. This is behind here, a street works and a shopping center here that's still in the midst of construction. You see those big poles, you see the concrete trucks, you see the beginnings of what will be building, rebuilding here, but it is still a long way away. And across the street, where we will show you in about a half an hour at the Church of the Assumption, which was also hit, very little progress there as well. They are still waiting for a roof to be finished so that they can start cleaning up the inside. So there is a, a, a ways to go here, and we know it's the people here behind this and the background stories that we will continue to share here this evening on the progress that still needs to be made as we try to move forward. But today, speaking of moving forward, that rebuilding process and the lives that were lost in this horrendous uh, incident here, this weather damage, Nashville city leaders holding a moment of silence in remembrance of these tornadoes. One year ago, Mayor Cooper, Representative Love and Councilman Todd spoke. They say today is a day to celebrate that the storm did not completely, right, destroy the city, but also a day of remembrance of the lives lost. Then we saw so much resiliency in Nashville, we just took a tour and saw homes being rebuilt and we saw still people out there volunteering and helping others get their homes together and so today we celebrate uh, as we also remember uh, we celebrate the fact that the storm did not destroy us completely and uh, that was all that's left is a half a wall and the door to the bathroom if we hadn't been in that toilet the, and the, the bathtub we shouldn't be. We shouldn't be here right now. Yeah. It, um, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. God put His hand over us. Yeah. God put His hand over us. He touched us. Oh, you just hear the emotion in that voice, in that heart. That was Charles Williams standing in the aftermath of the March 3rd tornado. He and his family jumped into their bathtub seconds before their home was leveled. That's on Plunk Whitson Road in Putnam County. That is where I know I spent the next several days here in the aftermath of this storm. We are going back one year later, catching up with Charles's family as they work to rebuild after a nearly impossible 2020. News Force Joshua Cole takes us there. In just a year, the Williams family has gone from hardly a foundation standing to rebuilding in a neighborhood filled with reminders of the tornado they survived. And we had the hand of God there with us. Standing under new beams, blessed by Bible verses. Out of that debris, out of that trash pile. And behind concrete walls that can stand against a hurricane. And then 11 and a quarter inches concrete studs was still reinforced rebar. There's something that's new and bigger, and it's going to be better for us that's coming up. And they see the hope. Charles is building a new house for his family after an EF4 tornado in 2020 ripped through his Putnam County neighborhood. Went right over us, and everything just went off, blew up. It was gone. His wife, Tamara, remembers those moments like it was yesterday. But it was just those two walls. Like, there's no reason why we should have been here. I'm now standing off McBroom Chapel Road, just a few blocks from the Williams, but here several people lost their lives. And although new construction stands behind me, many people had to move away. Where houses once stood, lots are still cleared, barely a foundation, and trees are still bent and blown over. It's kind of overwhelming. Um, but I'm happy to be back. The most important thing, we were there, and God was making sure we stayed there. Charles says 2020 formed his testament. I never dreamt I'd see PTSD in my kids' eyes. I look at it every day. COVID tried to take us. I had a heart attack in December, twice. And each time God's interjected and said, not today, I got something better for you. <laughs> However, the family says it was community love and support that told them to rebuild. There was hundreds of people here clearing debris or bringing food. Tamara and I didn't know where to begin. You know, you begin with one piece at a time. You start picking up one piece at a time. 
Charles and Tamara tell me they hope to move back into their new house sometime later this year. They also tell me neighbors in this area have discussed putting some kind of memorial to remember the people who have lost their lives as this neighborhood in Putnam County continues to heal. I'm Joshua Cole, News 4 Nashville.